Today's big equipment means that anyone with a big machine shed needs a big door. Trouble is, big doors are tough to handle and usually quite expensive. The Summers family came up with a simple, inexpensive solution. Here's the story. We built a 64 foot wide, 22 foot high shed. Things we wanted to use it for uh, various things, including bales put in with uh, automatic bale wagons. And we learned from experience that posts are not a good thing in the way. So we left a 56 foot wide opening, it's 22 feet high. We were considering putting a bifold door, but uh, a bifold door for that width was 14,000 without the steel. And uh, you could have two doors for less money than one, but uh, that put a post in the middle again, so we didn't get it. We made our own door up using a uh, big plastic pipe and some screen from a paper mill and made our own system to wind it up. This roll-up door is 56 feet wide and 24 feet high, big enough for small airplanes or really big farm equipment. The one-piece fabric rolls onto an eight-inch tube that's supported on both ends and in the middle. It's just plastic drainage pipe, it's heavy stuff like we use for sewers. An electric motor operates the cable winch to raise and lower the door. The cable runs up to the roof over a couple of pulleys, comes down and wraps around the plastic pipe, and it goes from there has to be anchored at the bottom to make it work. So we got a turnbuckle just to keep it tight. This door is made up of three pieces, uh, mainly because we just cut three links and hung them here the first year we built the shed. Uh, if we knew what we were gonna do at the time, we could have had it all one piece because these pieces came in something like 30 feet wide. In the winter when it's closed and we're not going in and out very often, we put a couple bales, one in each side of the door like this in a couple different places, and one at each corner at the end to kind of steady the door, because there's nothing else really to hold it other than its weight. This seemed to work very well for us. It stops the wind and snow and rain, and it was very inexpensive to make. Amazing how much money a person can save with a little inventiveness. In this case, about $13,000. Good work, folks.